Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Today I have something new to show you and this is made by Carbine. Basically all the opinions of this are, are my own and the review I give on it is my own and I just wanted to show you this new product because I'm always looking for new things to show you and new information and new products and this is one that kind of ticks all the boxes. So um, I got this as a free sample from my lock rep and um, anyone who's interested in purchasing this can find this from Dave Webb if you've got Dave Webb. If you don't you can buy it from our lock shop. So here we go. Let's have a look. First look at this product. What is it? I know exactly what it is and exactly what it does, but I'll let you guys see if you can work it out. Okay, it's a padlock. Yep, it's a round circular padlock. It's got some sort of lubrication in there. And this is what makes this cylinder different. It actually takes two cylinders. And I've never made one of these up before. But I can start doing it now. Okay, so let's go over the parts which are involved here. So we have some sort of face cover here. It's made of some sort of aluminum. The body as well is quite light, made, made of some sort of aluminum. Don't know exactly which one. And it looks like there's two keyholes. Two tail pieces here. And these are suited for the 530 cylinder. Some instructions. Uh, I always love instructions with big colourful pictures makes life so much easier. Please note cylinder cam operation, oh sorry, orientation. The long finger, this one, is actually this one here. The long finger is pointed towards the pin chamber. Okay, so when you look at these, this is the long finger here, the long leg. I'm sure most uh, locksmiths can work that out pretty easily. What have we got behind door number two? And I like ordering from these people because they give me these things. They're cool as well. And um, you always want a bit of inside information. Inside information is that Dave Webb is actually going to have better photos, better descriptions, and during this coronavirus, they've put a lot of work into it. So, fingers crossed, that will make a big difference, and that's something I'll be looking forward to. Okay, so here we have it. These are all the parts to assemble it. Two 570, 530 cylinders, sorry, Lockwood 530 cylinders, and you can identify these by the two triangles on the rear of the cylinder. This is a six pin inline cylinder and they've given me two of these. So the benefit of this particular padlock is that you can use two different cylinders. Let's take for example you wanted to put this in a place where two key systems were working, perhaps a security key system and a, a meter reading access or you wanted to have a security company or two different um, companies like a, a bin company and a security company be able to access this padlock but you didn't want to give out your security key for your building. That's where this would come in. So if you wanted to just give out a common standard key and also use your high security key, you could do that. Two different keys. So uh, another bit of uh, another bit of the inside scoop on this product is that apparently a couple of the big boys saw this and one of them wanted to buy it and the company said no. So it's going to be a product that's going to be kept and is going to be unique to um, to the manufacturer, which is an Australian manufacturer. All right, so let's just put this together now. Never done this before. I'm hoping it's going to take me a whole of about 10 seconds, hopefully. If it's a nice, easy good product. I mean there's no instructions with it and I don't think any will really be needed. I can tell that the cylinder housing goes this way. So it's going to pop that in there. I'm going to see if I can pop it open so that I can... Okay. It would help if I had the right key. So the cylinder's in. I'm turning it. The shackle has popped out. And this is key retained by the way. I believe that um, yeah the key retain is, is that function on the back of it. I'm not sure if you can have uh, key removable, but anyway, we've got key retain. So I'm going to turn this back now. And I'm going to pop that back in there. And I'm going to pop this one in there too. So one goes one way, one goes the other way. Okay, that looks pretty good. The only problem is how do I put my screw in to hold that on? This is the first time I've ever done this. Okay. Okay, so now both cylinders are in there. 
let's put the faceplate on the front now let's pop it open again now let's flip it over through the shackle hole we have our screw right here and probably a little bit of Loctite wouldn't hurt on this but I'm actually uh, even though it's a freebie I'm going to be using this and selling this to one of my clients because these five 30 cylinders are are used on all types of restricteds and all you know you can get just about anything in a 530 cylinder which is this one here so that means that you can put abloy on it you could put multi oh you can't put multi-lock multi-lock don't come in 530 you could put uh, mt5 on one side abloy on the other side you could have carbo quattro on one side you could have bylock on the other you name it you could have just about any key platform on this padlock because it's a 530 so that's the whole idea of it basically two different cylinders that can operate on the same lock in the same lock housing i keep getting the wrong keys okay that's one key and that's key retain where it won't come out so you actually have to lock it again take the take the key out now i can do the other side operate the padlock close the padlock remove my key so that's made by carbine cdep i believe the part number cdep 1nc carbine dual entry padlock no cylinder and cylinders perhaps come separate most of the time um you know you can most of the time buy them with the cylinders in and all the rest but you can do quite a lot of things with this um, considering what it is and the functions of having two cylinders in an actual padlock is really really good function but especially with the meter readers and things along those lines if you've got your whole house and it's one key and then you want to want to add let's say a, an abloy or an e-key to a side padlock you've then got to you know carry around an extra key but by having this means you can just keep the one key and as I, as I said before if you had a security key system on one side which operates your whole entire building or your factory or your shop you could still use that and if you wanted to give the the lawnmower or the bin guy you know just a key just for that you could do that you know rather than giving away a key that works everything else you could just give them access to this one padlock that's just a small example dual key padlock okay it looks like some sort of um what do they call it uh, lubrication hole the weight of this too is a lot lighter than it looks actually a lot lighter i don't have my scales there but let me give you some sizes for it anyway it will be available on our lock shop drlock.com.au for all those other locksmiths who wish to purchase it they know where this brand is from you can go online and i'm looking forward to their new website so shackle size eight mil internal shackle from here to here i'm going to go with about 20 28 mil from the tip here to there uh, what what other sizes do you need? Let me see. Body size on this, we're looking about a good 65 mil as a circle. From the base here up until the top here, we're looking about 95. The width of this bad boy, we're looking about 35, and um, that should be enough of the sizes. Hopefully, I've given you enough sizes there. So as long as you've got an 8 mil hole, it will fit in there quite nicely. Putting it together wasn't wasn't too tricky. It's the first time I've ever seen one, and it took me maybe a minute longer to work it out. And I'm sure you'll be able to actually purchase them eventually complete. If you purchase them from our lock shop, they'll come complete. But not a bad idea. Leave your comments, leave your reviews down below of what you think of this product. Yeah, is it something that you'd be interested in? Is it something that you know it would suit? A, a problem that you've had in the past i mean there was another product and i'll see if i've got it here just quickly uh, won't be a moment i just have to find it where is it where is it padlock 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 okay and i can't find it okay basically there was another padlock which i did a review on uh, about a year ago which was two padlocks put together on the same shackle and it was like two shackle pins very cumbersome to put together a little bit frustrating but did achieve the same function but i didn't like that one mainly because it's a it's a bit awkward uh, for assembling and um, it cost a lot more than this particular product that was two padlocks plus some special pins plus some special assembling uh, which was a bit of a nightmare this i must say for the quality of the build okay really easy to put together no instructions needed this was the only instruction and to be honest with you i don't think that could have that part could have fitted in any other way you know just by looking at it i don't think you could have put that in in any other way um 
the cylinders and all the rest the way it went together good i didn't have to muck around with any of the mechanism on the shackle side of things or any ball bearings any springs so, so i like that that was real quick the actual body itself is some sort of um, aluminum i'm not exactly sure what but uh, most likely if they've branded it like this we, that means that we can also laser engrave it as well so that will be really handy when engraving what keys it works or what location you want it in you know so doing a laser engraving on a on a padlock without you know pumping up the power and being able to get a good mark on it is good that's why when he says oh it's a, an aluminium so-and-so composite or some sort of material like that i was like oh good so we can actually laser engrave it quite easily and you can with this particular type padlock so you might uh, want to put door numbers you might want to put uh, names of bin room or you know uh, garage one or whatever you like or you might want to put um, you know uh, nmb or um, power reader you know something along those lines or your even your brand name on it you can do that as well for now i believe it comes out with the carbine i'm not sure if you can get unbranded but that's it that's the product one sort of pin in there one drain hole there a couple of little chamfers on it just there on these edges got a nice radius there it's a good product looks good leave your comments down below um have you had a situation where a padlock like this would have been handy i mean i've seen other people that actually clip two padlocks together to achieve this and generally that's a bit bit rough not as nice as this okay thanks for watching